Hey there, I'm talking to you about how to declutter your mind. Just like decluttering your home, you can declutter your mind too. As incredible as having a clean and uncluttered living space, your mind will feel even better. The problem is most people don't know and how to give themselves the peace of mind they desire. So I have a fun exercise I wanna share with you today. And that is how to declutter your mind in five easy steps. First, you choose the one area to focus on. Second, you write down the facts about that area. Third, you write down your thoughts about, you write down your thought, thoughts now about this area. And four, you decide on an intentional story. And five, you practice your new story. But before we begin, for those of you who don't know me, I'm a transformational life coach, and I help people overcome their challenges and live the life they love living with more passion, peace of mind, and well-being. And the, what I wanna to talk to you about today is how to declutter your mind, because this is a, the season for spring cleaning, and we can spring clean our mind as well as our home. The first thing you want to do is choose an area of your life to focus on, whether it's your, your physical space, your home, your relationships, your finances, your relate relationships, if I didn't say that. Um, but it's it's wherever your health, wherever you want to change your thoughts. And the second thing you wanna do is write down, so for I'm going to use an example of, for home life. And you wanna write down the facts in this area. And just as an example, um, I live in a four bedroom home in San Diego, California with my husband and two dogs. My two college kids are home from college and taking school and for the last year, ever since COVID began. And now you wanna write down your true feelings and thoughts about this area. My home has piles of laundry all over the laundry room. I have unopened stacks of mail in my kitchen. I have clothing and shoes that are laying all over the place. I have dirty food cake dishes sitting in my sink. I have constant tech issues because we all uh, tend to be on Zoom at the same time. And there's never enough time in my day to do what I want to do to have a clean space and feel better about my family all being together. So that's the, the, third, uh, uh, the third process. The fourth is decide what story you want to tell intentionally. What is it? How do you want to see it? You want, you know, your, your home is a work in progress. Your home life is a work in progress. You love that your family gets to be together and you all love one another. And you love that the home feels lived in and comfortable and safe. And you love that everybody does their part to pick up every day. And actually, what's really fun is your family has decided to have decluttering parties where you crank the music and you do, uh, you do pickups and cleaning. And uh, you all have made a choice to spend about 15 minutes a day doing quick spot cleaning in your personal rooms and in the space that everybody is sharing. So now you wanna practice that new story and that's uh, number five. You wanna try that new home life on and you wanna read your story. You wanna read those intentional thoughts. And 
a good way to do that is to create an affirmation about this home life that you desire. And it, it could read, uh, as an example, I live an intentional, joy-filled life. I love living with my family. I love that we love each other. We're closely connected. We support one another. We like to keep our space clean. And we have the freedom that we want to enjoy one another's company as well as keep our space tidy and clean. So that's, and you know, whatever, whatever it is for you. And so I just want to go through those five points again. The first one is to choose one of every area of your life to focus on. The second one is to write down the facts in that area. The third one is to write your thoughts about your area. The fourth is to decide on an intentional story. And the fifth is to practice your new story. And I, you're going to feel so much better when you learn to become more aware of your thoughts. Um, if you're having any negative thoughts about anything in your life, you have the power to choose new thoughts, and with practice, you will uh, you will eventually see that new story in your life. And uh, to help you, I've created a free guide, and that will give you clarity on your dreams and goals, and will help you write new stories in all areas of your life. And you can grab your copy below. I appreciate you listening. And if you find this helpful, please share with a friend and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for being here. And here's to you and your success. I'm having problems shutting it off.